G'day folks, this is my third video where I'm trying to hold some acetal to be able to turn it in one setup. Here my three jaw chuck is holding 46 diameter which is way beyond its limit. The last time I made these parts I used these jaws for the second setup but the part had already been faced so it ran quite well in these jaws. Here you can see the run out when the end is just sawn and not faced. I found these jaws from years ago but they are 50 diameter but the part doesn't run too badly but I would like to see the diameter reduced to 46. If I want to get the diameter down though the jaws are going to need milling at each end so they can go smaller. Now I don't have a mill so I thought I'd set two jaws up on my four jaw chuck and see how that goes when they're turned out and see if it holds the part okay. If I use the left hand boring bar I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Seems to have enough travel in each direction. Here's a couple of buttons I made up so that I can put them in the jaws and clamp down on them. The boring bar is extended at four times the diameter so that should work all right if I'm careful. Before I started I checked a few things and found the chuck was hitting this screw so I had to remove it. And finally in this video we get round to making some chips. So here I'm just using the fine feed in manual mode to take it out to diameter. Took me a while to work out what that black object was coming into the screen. But I needed to see what I'm doing. And once I was happy that the diameter was okay, I went in and faced the back surface. That seems to have plenty of grip and the radius matches nicely so I'm relatively happy with the way that's working. I just hope it'll hold the parts alright. Should do. I can always put some uh, emery cloth around them if they don't hold too well. So it'll be a bit longer than that. The parts will stick out another 10 millimeters, but I think uh, that'll work relatively well. I was hoping to use gang tooling on this job, but I'm not going to, am I? Look at that. I'm setting this job up now, so it should be my next video. If you'd like to see these parts being made, you could subscribe so you don't miss it. I look forward to your comments and thank you for watching.